Wait, hold on. Stop this. No, turn off. I got some shit to chat. Chat! My motherfucking skin is crawling right now, man. Ah, uh, it's a black goo outbreak and shit, man. In the coming months, we gonna start seeing zombies outside, bro. That monkey box shit out there, y'all. On oh, phone, I'm grave. Listen, bro. It's only two things in this world that scare rabbit. Virus and shit like that, you know? Shit that turn you into a zombie. One of us type things and fucking nuke. The world leaders and nukes. My skin is crawling right now, y'all. Oh, God. But anyway, we gonna get into this little thing, man. There's some craziness happening in Philadelphia, y'all. I don't know what's happening. There we go. I don't get out the house much. I don't know shit. I'm sorry. If you ask me in the comments section, chat, if you ask me in the comment section why I don't know this, it's because it's more to life than discreets, y'all. I be reading this shit like that. You see what I'm saying? But we gonna check it out. Let's go. There is a violent and bloody war going on in the streets of Philadelphia. Dozens of young men are being ruthlessly discreets, executed or dog. going to jail for life in the city of brotherly love. And one of the most <laughs> prominent figures at the center of this war is none other than YBC Duel, a rapper who reps the Young Bag Chasers Collective who has been given YBC. the nickname Mr. Disrespectful for a slew of antics such as digging up an enemy's grave in February this of this shit, year. Bro. My cousin showed me this shit the other day. I'm like, what the fuck? Dirt hey, yo, going bro, going on? Cranny, yo. Cranny. What cemetery is this? <laughs> Clearly, YBC Duel has taken Mocking the Dead on the internet to a whole nother level. But how did it get to this point? Nobody wakes up in the morning and randomly decides to defile a gravesite. So to truly understand Duel, Philly's most hated rapper, let me provide some insight yeah, into how this all began. In 2017, Baby Con J100 came up with the name The Young Bag Chasers as a label for their hell. collective that were getting money together in the streets. When you list out the most notable members of YBC and their synonymous subset YFA, a pattern of tragedy emerges. 19 of the 31 most prominent members are either dead or incarcerated. Damn. But for the first two years of YBC's existence, they mostly stuck to getting money in the streets. It wasn't until the start of summer 2019 that the horrible cycle of violence first emerged. On May 29th, 2019 at 1.40 p.m. near 42nd Somebody Street and Mantua Avenue, Joshua David Munson, also known as YBC Josh, was gunned there down in broad is. daylight as he walked down the sidewalk near his home. The gunman was never caught, Teenager, and the pain that Josh's passing he? caused his friends in YBC had them wanting to get street Probably justice like for their fallen friend. Ten months later, like YBC it. allegedly struck back. At That's around 5.10 p.m. in March of 2020, a 19-year-old man by the name of Nuff Feek Hawkins, aka Buddy, was playing a game of pickup basketball near 62nd and Vine when he was struck multiple times in his legs and torso. He was pronounced dead 12 minutes later. Nobody on the scene was willing to give police a description of the shooter. But if you listen to the music of YBC Duel, you will hear him constantly disrespecting the passing of Buddy. Even in the first song that Duel released, you can hear him saying he is, quote, smoking Buddy out the motherfucking pound. I'm smoking Buddy out the motherfucking pound. Is that right? And that is far okay, from the only song verbatim. that he mentions him in. Not long after the passing of Buddy, two YBC members members were allegedly involved in a shootout near 38th Street. Multiple people were hit, one of which was named Sid right. from 39th Street. Sid survived his injuries, and since the streets have a no-snitching policy, it wouldn't be long before Sid exacted his own form of justice. In September of 2020, Sid claimed to be responsible for the shooting of a man named BL. The man was shot in the head multiple times while he was riding his bike on the 900 block of Belmont Avenue around 9.30 p.m. He was pronounced dead on the scene. After this, YBC was out for blood. On January 16, 2021, a 15-year-old named Jaquan Williams, aka Q Raw was walking near 15, 40th and Cambridge damn. Streets when two suspects shot him in the head as he was on his way to the store. YBC claimed this killing by mocking him in their songs, calling him Q Rizzy instead of his name. They shot Q Rizzy from a block away. February 24th, we smoke Q Rizzy out the pound. YBC wanted get back and specifically know, wanted guys, to get vengeance on Sid. Like, on March 18th, really 2021, wild. they were allegedly 15. given false information that Sid was being released from prison that evening and mistakenly shot 20 year old Rodney Hargrove near the I prison around like midnight, thinking that he was Sid. This I accident am. would not I stop. Might not act of 2021, they caught Sid outside his house and let off a barrage of shots, striking his six-year-old sister instead of him. I might not sound like him. it, but I am it's disgusting yet again that I'm here fuck? speaking to you about a six-year-old getting shot. Sid would survive the incident, and his family would move across town to Port Richmond to evade the violence. But still, his days were numbered. Around 8:15 p.m. on the 2900 block of Wykell Street in the city's Port Richmond section, two shooters yeah, approached Sid's house and fired guys. eight shots into his home, striking him and his father. Kensington his dad videos. survived, but 39th Street Sid passed away from his wounds. YBC member Curry was found hiding under a car on the scene and he began firing at police but was ultimately arrested and booked for the murder of Sid as well as a previous Fired murder. Police and Sid, who also went by the nickname Fro, was routinely mocked in YBC Duel's music. The pro with this night, that shit hard, it got me tripping. And this was by no means the end of the violence surrounding YBC. Even, like, on May 25th around 7.30 p.m., police say an 18-year-old man named Nasir Marks was shot multiple times see. on the 3900 block yeah, of Poplar Street in the city's Mantua section. His family was making him shirts for his upcoming graduation when they got the phone call. His name is Nasir Marks. 
He's not just some 18 year old black male that was shot. Hey, his name is not Sayer Marks. 30 minutes later, 32 shots were fired at a 15 year old boy named Kanye Pittman on the 2500 block of North Sydenham Street. Five shots struck him and he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Reek 1200 from YBC bragged about the killing soon after in his songs. Don't get it twisted, bitch. I still pop right out that cut. He out of luck. Put his ass up on that side. He should have ducked. We spin back to back. Bodies in one day. They know what's up. We get it done. Get that drop and drop his ass. This shit for fun. YBC Duel also repeatedly mocked the death of the 15 year old called Calling him Young Bull from the Back Block. That young boy from the back block try to run, they did he bad. I keep forgetting about that young boy from the back block. I wish I could say the reign of terror in Philadelphia was over. But on July 21st, 2021, 16-year-old Kalen Johnson and 18-year-old Tommy Frazier, also known as Snipe, were murdered in their vehicle while they were on their way to play basketball. What am I supposed to do when he calls the casket? I just want everybody to know my son was a good kid. Everyone loves him. Last week in August of 2024, Curry from the YBC slash YFA collective went to court for these murders and was found guilty. His defense argued Curry became a victim of his surroundings after his family moved from Germantown to West Philadelphia, saying the murder of Germantown Curry's father and brother Philly. when he was a child left him traumatized. Still, the jury found him guilty of the murders and sent him away for 42 and a half to 85 years. Curry is the fifth of five years. YBC members which stands for Young Bag Chasers. Nah, the new name is You've Been Charged. Tommy Frazier, a.k.a. Snipe, is another man you can hear Stay YBC Duel persistently screens, mocking people. in his songs. I want Snipe, smoke a Snipe, die rolling buddy out the same. Smoke a little Snipe, he got me higher than a motherfucking kite. Stay all these murders and disrespectful nah, lyrics nah, made the city nah, hate YBC. And this this soon, all of the enemies they made would no click up to form a super group called CCK. CCK consists of campers, O to the 4, clappers from 56th Street, and clappers with a K from 7th Street. But it wasn't just them. 39th Street clicked up with 44th Street because of the murders of Sid and Kanye Pittman. Ain't and because no of the murder of Bud, they also had shit. enemies on 59th Street, resulting in YBC being literally surrounded by ops all over the city. So far in the story, YBC was claiming responsibility for eight murders in 2021 like alone. And it doesn't take I'm a genius to imagine what happened to the young bag chasers between 2021 and now. J100, the founder of YBC, was shot and killed. Reek 1200 was arrested for two homicides, facing 35 years to life. F5 is serving a 12-year prison sentence. Curry is serving multiple life sentences. Da Fetty, YBC Duel's cousin, was shot and multiple killed. 1K, Baby Wick, and Reed 1200 are all in jail on conspiracy to murder shit. charges. Mir Pablo got locked up he less than a week ago life. for homicide. Yak Yola is on Philly's most wanted fugitive list. Money Making T.O. was murdered. Baby Ka was shot and killed. Kier was gunned down. Peso is incarcerated. F.S. Debender is on house arrest. And one of the last remaining survivors of this war is none other than YBC Duel. In this episode, we visit 42nd, 43rd, and 39th Street, which is the epicenter is of the Young Bag Chasers territory, as well as visit the hood of PNB Rock, whose neighborhood clique is now tied in with YBC. So I come with me as we visit man. Philly's most hated that rapper and experience firsthand life as Mr. Disrespect. That's the singing, bro. All right, to my left right now is the one and only YBC Duel. Mr. Disrespectful, I'm gonna fuck who you is. I will disrespect you. Where are we at right now? We in North Philly right now. How long have you lived in Philadelphia? All my life. I'm from North, but I clean West Philly though. That's why I jumped off the perch at. Yeah, tell me about your name, Mr. Disrespectful. How'd you get that? YBC Duel got his nickname West from his Philly fans calling him Mr. Disrespectful like in various comment sections. All the Caribbean people there, went over there. My name YBC Duel, but so the like fans the call me Mr. Disrespectful. You know what they be saying, like, I be trolling, I guess, but like I do it to a certain extent. West like, I go overboard. Like, so what do you think is some of the most disrespectful things you've done? Obviously, the one that comes to mind is, you know, the notorious, the grave digging situation. Africans. There's some new shit, though. Like, I've been wrong. Like, one of the most disrespectful joints, though, when I said like I was going to slap K3 mom, though. Mac's mom? Yeah, because she Uptown be dissing my homie. Like, I don't know what she be on. She like an old, miserable mother. Really it may repulse you to hear dual threaten to smack someone's mother, South but everything comes back to the cycle of violence. K3 is Kaylin Johnson, who had allegedly been murdered by YBC. So after one of Duel's best friends, J100, was shot in the head during a music video shoot, K3's mother immediately took to her Instagram Live to mock the passing of J100. <laughs> Cameraman ain't tell him to duck. Round of applause, pep duck, pep duck, pep duck, pep duck. Nah, and I'm not here to glorify that, or cast judgment on anyone. Imagine it was your best friend or family member who was murdered. How would you yeah. treat those you felt were responsible? Do you feel like the the public like doesn't understand some of the you know dissing in the in the rap music? We diss differently. Like when you know what people be talking about, and you be like, damn, like he just said that in the song. Like that's how I got my name for real, for real. Because if you get in the detail about what I'm talking about, and it's like. 
damn, he just said that. What made you want to get a shovel and go to the cemetery that day? Is it just like you woke up and did it, or were you, you know? No, it's crazy, bro, because when I went to the graveyard, I didn't even have no shovel. Like, Bash had the grave, I met the John in the trunk. We had hurried up and drove to the graveyard real quick. We already shot the scene there, feel me? But once we shot, done shot, shot the scene, like, it was a grave, it was a pile of dirt. And my man had the shovel, he popped the trunk and just threw me the shovel, and I just started drawing. But I'm hood hopping today, though. I'm going, I'm going to take you everywhere. Yeah, where are some places we're going to go in this episode? We're going to be in North, West, South Philly. I really run the streets. Like, I'm, I don't go to the studio and rap and shit. Like, I be outside, bro. That's what I do. But other so rappers, though, like, from the stage, on the stage at. where I'm at, like, they don't be here no more. People really think I be in other states. The whole time, I really be here. And what makes you want to stay in Philadelphia? My niggas here. Like, I got to chill with the guys. I can't bring everybody out, Kylie. Do you ever see yourself, like, moving out of Philadelphia for good or not really? Yeah, well, I ain't staying here. This is a dumbass place to stay. Who are some of the best rappers in Philadelphia right now? Fuck with Hood, Tylee, Leaf War, High, Hop Out, Blick, Skrilla, See, that's FS The, the Bender. Yeah, that's really it. Yeah, Philadelphia, the hip hop scene seems like it's having a big wave right now. I don't know why we never got our recognition until the drill scene came foolish. about. Y'all think it's a game? <laughs> that's how we coming. We in the trenches, like we in Philly. I'm outside. And besides that, they also got a uh, different type of dogs on them. <laughs> Just to clarify, those are legal firearms. Legally obtained, legally owned firearms. Illegal firearms. Illegal, 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 illegal. Disrespectful, disrespectful. <laughs> Those Let's dogs look very athletic, bro. Cool. No, they can't course with the Mr. Pitbull. You wasn't like a no, like you ain't never playing no movie. like guard no. dogs? Look like Napoleon some, uh, Dynamite. He looked like Napoleon like Dynamite. I'm telling you, like you played off a movie or something. Like, 24 like, hours. Like, 2000 or something, Dynamite. like 2000s. I saw a documentary stop. about you that said you're the most hated rapper <laughs> in Philadelphia. Is that cap? You know that ain't no fucking bluff. Does that make you upset at all or you don't care? I like that shit. They hate me, that mean they like me or they do something. Like, feel me? Like, they you're paying attention. Feel they, yeah, they paying attention and I make them feel some type of way. So if I can make you feel some type of way, I'm going to keep making you feel some type of way. Bro, all the real niggas fuck with me. What Lil Dirk say at this uh, at the end of that song? Like, real niggas fuck with me. Like, the street niggas can vouch for me. Anywhere I go, nobody don't play with me. I never got robbed. I never got touched, shot at in the city yet. This, there's a certain artist in the city, very popular right now, yeah, yeah, it was OT7 Kwani. What's your perspective on him, bro? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Cuz be doing bitch ass shit, bro. I ain't beefing with them niggas or nothing. Like, I've heard on the YouTube side of things, he scammed a YouTuber named Rod Rod for D, like yeah. three, four thousand dollars. Rod from the city, though. Like, it'd have been different, like, if he did that shit to an uh, outsider. But I don't really got too much to speak about on Cuz. Switch the topic. We just took a drink yesterday. We Fuck. A, we just drink. took a nigga a drink. No. And he got gun butted with it. You don't feel weird speaking about that publicly? No, we, we like, we do this shit. What was Duel like as a kid? Bad as your mood. Like in the streets type shit. What's my nickname? His name Duck. Duck. Diddle. Why Duck Diddle? Why that? <laughs> That's his name. I was about to say when we was growing up. His name was Duck. Yeah. What has it been like for y'all watching YBC do you know, kind of rise through the ranks of the music industry? His first ever song, he dropped the video, See, came home, you gotta he hit that was lame. And then put it happened pretty quick. Bro, that shit happened quick, like a year. Bro, bro like, I ran laps on niggas, bro. I got like 40 million streams right now. Can you give me the lore behind the, the McNuggets and the buttons? I just fuck with McDonald's. The reason YBC do constantly mentions McDonald's is because a man named Booga, who is the brother of one of his enemies, Sonny Goon, was gunned down while working his job at McDonald's. Duel has gone on to drop two songs as well as his own weed strain mocking the passing of Booga. Look at this car right now. Yo, what's going on with this? Damn, that's a oh, look at that. Take little by little, car. piece they, by piece. She got ain't gotta bring the whole thing at Matt once, fact, man. You can't but... park here. Yeah. Listen, me and the bitty, feel me, we with Brandon Buckingham, Hodge Gotti on the year, feel me. What's your gram? You really face 42. You want riding in the striker with us? Yeah, let's go. We're in the whip right now. Is this a fishbowl? Fuck no. <laughs> it's a striker. What is the definition of a striker? Is that just a car that has tents or what? Mm -mm. Why do they call it a striker? Because we have no striker shit like bowling pins. We riding the strikes. You know PMB Rock that passed away, right? Yeah, rest in peace. Like, I'm one of the niggas that carry it for they block, though. Like, feel me? All the, all the niggas that's from PMB, like, they fuck with YBC do it. Like, yeah, I guess you were pretty upset when that shit happened to PMB Rock? The whole city was. That was crazy. But they don't understand that shit was politics, crazy. though. It ain't. It just was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Like, oh, we on past 30th Street right now. We on past 30th and Bay, and we in PNB. This PNB Rock block, though. Like, this where PNB Rock from. Like, next we visit the hood where PNB Rock was born and raised. For those that didn't know, PNB Rock was in and out of jail as a juvenile and ultimately served two years in prison at the age of 19. After struggling with homelessness, he ended up focusing on music in 2014, signing a deal with Atlanta Records in 2015, and dropping the song Selfish in 2016 that landed on the Bill. 
Billboard Hot 100 charts. And as the song was going triple platinum, unfortunately, this is the same year his brother PNB Steph was shot and killed near their home on the 1600 block of Baton Street. But this didn't stop PNB Rock's meteoric rise to fame as he dropped two albums and one mixtape between 2017 and 2019 that all charted on the Billboard 200s. Oh, the following year in 2020, he was featured one, on Ed Sheeran's song Cross Me, a chance the rapper that was also a worldwide hit. And despite being the odds, going gold or platinum 17 times over and making it out of the deadly yeah. Philly streets, PNB Rock tragically lost his life in 2022 on the other side of the country. On September 12th, shortly after PNB Rock's girlfriend posted this Instagram story, a 17 year old and his father robbed him and shot him twice in the back and once in the Some chest as he was eating at Roscoe's God. house of chicken and waffles in South Los Angeles. Tragically, he passed away on the scene. This story oh, paints yeah. a sad reality of rappers overcoming yeah, their circumstances really but heart. still never yeah. really being I, safe I, I, no I matter where they are in America. Everybody call me now or Neff, you feel me? You feel me? We got that. Everybody got that shit tatted. PNB New Lane. What does PNB stand for? Pastorius and Bay. PNB Rock was born and raised right there? Yeah, yeah, right there. We all grew up right here. Feel me? I got ties with a lot of I got shot right here. right here, you feel me? That shit still got the bullet holes in the door, you feel me? It's a lot of bang outs on this block. Yeah. I got shot in my stomach, my thighs, all that shit. Look. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Man, that's brutal. Shot in my yeah, hand, like and all that shit. That's yeah. so Bro, I learned how to walk again. You heard me? How does it feel to get shot? What is the that's sensation? Brutal. That shit burn. Don't ask nobody how that shit feel. You don't want to feel that shit. You know, it's one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Germantown. You feel me? So yeah, how much does like a PNB in that whole movie mean to this block? A lot. It's a lot of niggas from PNB. It's probably 60 niggas. Doesn't PNB Rock have songs with like Justin Bieber and shit? Yeah, Rock. We got songs with Ed Sharon. We got songs with a lot of niggas. That's like it doesn't get any bigger. I got probably 200 unreleased songs on rocks. Bro was a musical genius, you feel me? I don't think nobody did it like bro. Like, what, what you about to say? related to a few? No, we, we, we blood in, we tied in, you feel me? I knew rock since I was five, six. Like, we all grew up in the same households type shit. Fuff, that's rock, brother. Steph died right here, that's rock. Tino died on that no. side right there, you feel me? No, nah, y'all cool, they ain't gonna do nothing. Do you have any uh, fun memories of PB Rock growing up? Just yeah, like- Yeah, nigga, I grew up with him my whole life. That's my dog, bro. Bro used to do some burnt out shit. The shit country. you would see a regular nigga do, rock and do that shit. Rock a rob a nigga and give it to me, like, hun, bro. I don't even want this shit, bro. You want PS5? Oh, I'll tell you, I got an iPad for you, bro. Like, I'm a little bro, you feel me? So he would just do it for the sport of it? Yeah, bro. I used to watch rock, used to take a nigga down, come right to my grandma crib. Hey, yo, I got this for you. Smoking gunner. Babe, I'm smoking gunner. I'm gonna pass by bed, gunner. Gunner the rapper? No, Dog, way. gunner. Look him up. Look he died. Look gunner. Oh, no. He died eating Doritos. Dorito man <laughs> I love Doritos. <laughs> Don't eat them in the car. Don't eat them in the car. That shit is um, haunted. Make sure y'all tour to the Hop Out Blick. He died. Yeah, is that a joke Blick. or are they being serious? Forget, like... Hop Out Blick, free Hop Out Blick. Yeah, if Blick was here, y'all would be recording Blick and not do. Hop Out Blick, Blick is from PNB, aka The Torturers. He began his music career in 2021 and even made some music with YBC so Duel. In April 2023, around 3:30 p.m., Hop Out Blick was allegedly involved in the murder of three teenagers in a robbery gone wrong. Down, soon after, Hop Out Blick released the song Take a Risk, where he rapped about the murders explicitly that he would soon be accused of committing. And it wouldn't take long for police officers to pick up on the alleged self snitching and hop out blick was arrested only a few months after i don't think this shit never gonna stop bro i can say this because i'm white and black you hear me now it used to be like a lot of niggas but now it's like white people moving around here so it's getting better of a neighborhood type shit you feel me they building new cribs type shit gentrified yeah they gentrifying it like yeah we got a lot of poppy stores but we share a lot of stories with the ops we try to stay our shit in the hood you feel me What's like some of the best food here let's get some so we're really in the hood and they got they got a touch screen and all kind of ops. different food they, selections they get money he get money I he fuck around some bricks stories like a new what's up babe like, yeah they said i'm the most hated rapper in the city right the like when quilly said feet on land like i'm feet on the land like my feet is on the earth who that they busting the Yui too. I feel like half your ops aren't outside. They're they're in a virtual reality. None of my fucking bro. And we go kill this shit out one of them niggas, bro. Ain't no not to do no shit like this. I wish somebody. I'm sorry, Brandon Buckingham, bro. I wish you would. I wish he would go try walk around, try do a vlog with like a low ski to Reaper or one mirror, bro. We gonna flame that John, bro. Catch me in the crossfire if it comes down to it. You got to get that drop up. Say nah. You my man, bro. We chilling though, bro. We ain't on that though. I don't even eat, bro. I get high. I pop perks and sit lean and shit. Explorers Den Pizza, honestly eat. delicious. About to take a bite of this sub right quick. Cheese steak, bro. Not a sub. I was about to say he just said it. That's what Philly's known for, right? Mm -hmm. Hammer. The fuck? Say hammer. This shit is screwdriver. This shit is wrench. 
The wrench? No, it's hammer. <laughs> All right, so we just got a, a little sneak peek into the, the PMB hood out here. I got my nigga Brandon. We brought the guys out. This one of the best interviews, you feel me? See how we talk? We've been walking around all day, right? Now, once it get time to walk into the war zone, niggas don't want to come no more. You see, niggas got shit to do now and all that. They don't want to come to the war zone. When it, when it's time to go to my hood, niggas don't want to go to the war zone. Niggas don't want to come to the war zone. I'm about to go, look, look, look. Go I'm about to go put my feet on land. Bill was really brushing his teeth right here, bro. Why didn't you brush your teeth at the start of the interview? Why, why midway through? I never got my teeth going to be yellow and shit. I drunk. Damn, you ain't never brush your teeth like that ever in your life. I'm doing this shit right now on the block. Wait, I got a, what? I got a car tube brush. You don't got no car tube brush. I love him flexing his oral hygiene. You sure. never see nobody brush their oh, teeth right, like right, this. Right, I'm outside right. in the trenches. Niggas be having yuck mouth outside. Be want to be all in niggas' face. Your birth be twinging. Get out my mid. No, give us okay, the rundown. Where we at right say. now? Right now we right, on 42nd I'll, I'll, and I'll Parkside. This my block. This one. Doc fuck with that. RP Keep God, a toothbrush like, on hand. That's the box case. all back here. All what? we do is slap like this. The slap, slap box, box John, right here. Like if you step right box. here, you got slap box. <laughs> wow. Yeah, <laughs> this shit the is a bandit. Bro, this hood a bandit. Not even houses wise. I'm saying like people being out here wise. Like look at that. There. Yeah, like I don't even know yeah, look at that house right there with the with the the lime green and the brick. Look, your glass is broken. All that. It's like niggas still liable to stay there. Would you say that uh, YBC is from West Philly? Yeah, YBC is the bottom. We got a couple niggas that's like from North and shit that in the mix, but but majority majority like YBC originated from West, and everybody in YBC like we somebody like big brother or something that's in like YFA like it's two groups it's YBC and YFA that's the younger version of us damn look at that one yeah, we, that. yeah this was our bando yeah, we used to be in here this is our bando for sure we still get in there? I'm thinking this shit was still like this but in this this door right here it just was open. open Will Smith on these Jones right here Wait, Will Smith owns them? Yeah, yeah he's from West Philadelphia. Yeah. Will Smith from went to oh, went to Overbrook High School. He went to my school, West Philadelphia, born and raised. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my day. yeah, he not lying, bro. Yeah. This, he from around here. I don't know who that was. They ro every time somebody been seeing me, bro, they been rolling their windows up. I don't like when they do shit like that. I feel like they be putting cars in and shit. I'm gonna start shooting people that do that. So does the prospect of possibly getting shot just walking around make you nervous at all or I mean what's your thoughts on it I ain't gonna lie bro you should be nervous though bro because walking with me a bad John but so-called niggas be on my ass though so that'd be a bad John we just we just having a cool collected day we don't feel like shooting people we don't feel like having no. shootouts or none of that we just chilling y'all can do that when when I'm back home safe so you feel like you have a lot of on-site <laughs> situations in the city it is no yeah, talking right. on-site every time it's funny I just jammed anyone this block the other day we really killed a lot of niggas though. Like niggas is not here no more, bro. The hood dry, bro. Hey, so you see, you tortured the whole block. We tortured the whole hood though. Like nobody don't come outside around here. You, we, we walking through blocks. You don't see nobody. Shit, torture. This is a ghost town. Is that like sad at all to be like, yo, no one's outside. We fucked the whole place up. I wish it ain't like, bro. I swear, no, I'm, I put this on my mom. Like if I could trade and turn tumble, like all this shit back, be something just... else or like. Feel me, bro. I wish I had my niggas, bro. I don't go fuck about doing this shit right here, bro. Tumble across I just do this street. shit now because it's like, if I don't do this shit, bro, ain't nobody I'm gonna out be here, a nut ass nigga if I don't make it out the hood. Like, if I don't get ah! successful, bro, and get rich, bro, I'm gonna feel like I'm a nut ass nigga know, and I'm gonna feel like That's I fell on my own. Right this shit a desert town, ghost town, bro. Nobody outside. We fucked the hood up. Like, when you went to down Kenneton, how the whole, like, everywhere outside, bro, it's not like you gonna get shot down here, bro. Like, with that shit, I be, I be talking about in my reps, bro. That shit real. Go listen to it. Everybody getting shot. Mom, dad, sisters, brothers. Ops. We proving a point. If I stop rapping a day or tomorrow, I can put a thousand pounds on this block. On my mom. On my mom. You see, I ain't gonna lie. We, we ain't we know what niggas on, feel me? me. They know what no, we on, feel me? Young bag chasers, feel me? A lot of niggas got overcooked. Yeah, what's the difference between getting an overcooked and getting an undercooked in the streets? Dude, the nigga three times, he undercooked. When nigga get hit with eight or more, he overcooked. It depends where you hit him at. I ain't get hit yet. When you say hit, do you mean hit by gun bullet? Yeah, got by gun bullet. You never been hit? Yeah, I ain't get hit yet. And how many times have you been? Doing the head. We've been doing this shit for long now. More than 10? 10 niggas posted up. I hop out, switch the crowd. All them niggas running with their hot stain shoe back. Like, where y'all glizzy now? I lost Josh to the streets, bro. I got a video of Josh right now. He said, when you come to my crib, throw some rocks at my back window. Like, that's our first loss. That's our first YBC loss. Oh, he pissing right here. But look, right here, this is crib. It's Josh crib right here. He passed? Yeah, he passed away. I got him tatted on my face. Right here. For Josh, too. Like, all my homies book, bro. Like, none of my niggas out here. Peso, Waters, Zion, like, nobody home. Band up guys. But, like, it ain't nobody home. Zeke. 
It's the best block, bro. The poppy stir. We got the poppies. We on 43rd and Walusa right now. All my niggas book that free Zeke too. Bad. Free Zeke the Reaper, bro. This this twin block. Gunshot right there. You know what it is. This, don't you know I just was telling you about Josh, right? I was right here tagging up. Josh was supposed to come meet me. No bullshit. I was tagging a weed. I was supposed to go meet him at the corner of the block. Oh, I heard gunshots. gunshots. Boom, 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 boom. I'm hearing gunshots right now. Bro, that I'm shit regular. Gunshots but all I'm hearing right is gunshots. Now. Boom, boom, boom. Bro, my man, band up y'all. coming around the corner. He said, bro, Josh, bro. I just broke down crying. I'm like, damn, bro. Sorry to hear that. Rest in peace. Our ops block right here, bro. On my soul, on J Soul. They from Bell My Ave. They crib right there, bro. That they begin clapped on that Q Rizzy and all them niggas, them niggas from right there, bro. The nigga that's in the car over there right now, my man Waters clapped him. He told him he can't bust no traps. Bro, only reason why he parked out here cause Waters not out here right now, bro. Well all oh, he bro. shit. Yeah, I think he heard that in the car. He know what bro, niggas know what's up, bro. My man shot him. So he probably really hates you, yeah? Bro, it's well, Mr. He, he Disrespectful. Yeah, like, you think it's a game? He pulled off, right? Or am I wrong? No, he did pull off. Oh, all right. We outside, bro. What's up, boy? What's up? Look, get the old folk. They are, you know, we, we rolling. We rolling right now. Talk to your fans. This is Philly. Welcome to Philly, y'all. Yeah. Come check us out. There's a lot of good things happening in Philly. Yeah. Someone, is, someone is shooting a lot what? right over there. Yeah? You hearing that? Yeah, there's a lot of that goes on around here. We have heard seven gunshots in the past. You yeah, there's a lot of good shooting things happening in Philly. A gun Philly. very close to a block away. Gunshot. Repeatedly. We've heard That's like 30 gunshots in the past two minutes. Literally, there must be a battle going on somewhere near here. Yeah, I'm trying to get away from all these gunshots. Fuck all that. Yo, we're driving towards the gunshots. Why? Yo, we're, we're driving towards the What are we doing right now? Oh my gosh. Bro. You wanna know the, when the last time I've been in this park? Well, bud died. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we ain't come to this park ever since then, bro. No bullshit. Bro, that was my right hand man, bro. This J100 block right here. Like, this where J100 to be at right now. This J100 block. Put your put, put my put your burner. Put that burner, up, bro. Like, come here, twin. Come here, twin. Now my twin got stories to tell. We got. Blocks, though, like, a lot of we took a right picture here. with no baby mom bitch ass right here. I'm mad that right she shouldn't have been ever been in that fucking picture. That nigga a fucking. Bro, we. Don't come to the crib, you Bro, stop telling me shit I know. Like, who are you talking to, bro? Chill. This is where the dice games take place at. We fucked the hood up. It ain't no more dice games. No, it ain't no block you could go on down here and people outside. We fucked the blocks up. You ever think maybe when you get older, you're going to turn a new leaf and you're going to want to make, like, the block better and make the hoods better? I ain't going to lie to you, bro. I'm going to try my hardest. Like, shit like this, lots and shit. Like, I'm going to try to build shelters. Like, I'm going to try to feed. I'm going to get back. I'm going to get back to the hood, bro. What's the game plan? You're going to fuck it up first and then make it better? I mean, bro, that wasn't Yo, the, game the game plan to fuck it up. We fucked it up fuck. already, like, feel me? Like, the goal to get rich, feel me? But some shit came in the midst to get rich. What do you guys think about the cops? Free 12, fuck 12, free 12, fuck 12, free 12, fuck 12. Fuck the cops. We don't respect no fucking cops. Do it look like I respect the cops? Mr. Disrespectful. Who that right there looking why, at me? Why do they call you Mr. Disrespectful? Because okay, I don't no. give a fuck who you is. I will disrespect you. That's why they call me that. I'm outside right now with the yeah, most yeah. disrespectful yeah. rapper in America. And we on feet on land. Feet on land. Feet on land. They outside. in the comments on no jumper till my man don't be outside. My man outside every day. All day. All day. <laughs> I pulled up at 2 p.m. It's almost midnight. Brandon, you feel good doing that around here. You safe, right? I feel good and feel comfortable, right? I feel safe. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing to my man. Y'all know that. The biggest save. Y'all know what the fuck one of this shit stiff and all that. Like, the biggest. Big shit. Miss, welcome down. Miss, welcome down. Miss, welcome down. Tasha, y'all know. Yeah. We got a special guest right here. Oh, we got a special guest, too. Talk to him. This is Nick Shirley from Salt Lake City, Utah. The Latter day Saints, the Mormons. You ever heard of the Mormons? Yeah. He's a Mormon. He's a Latter day Saint. Oh, probably shit, Nick. That's me. That's me. This man out here. Probably shit. He ain't ready to run. Nick on the block, middle of the trenches, like my man never was on the block. This is the first Mormon, the first Church of Latter Day Saint member ever to be out here in Philly like this. Just like that. Just like that. And he feet on land. Look at his sneaks though. On the land, like on the land. And he got his New Balance, so you know he's ready to get back. He said, "Yeah, I got wear my sneaks out there." I no. might got run. He's I might got run. I need my sneaks. My sneaks no. on in the video. He's bitty. really a man of God, bro. He, yeah, so that's why nothing that's why will happen to him. Here God loves everybody. Everybody. That's why nothing will happen Even to him. You don't know why? Because he's protected trenches, by his God. He's never smoked. He, does, he doesn't drink. 
right? He's waiting till marriage to fornicate. He's, oh, a, what? he's a real man of God, I'm saying. Real oh, yeah, ain't nothing happening, Nick. That's why I got Kima. You saw my arm around him? That's why I'm still like this all night. Because I, I know I'm with him. Ain't nothing happening. You feel me? Since you've been in Philly, like, how was it? Like, how, what's your experience? You like it? You like it? I, I like it. The, the trenches, it's different lifestyle. The trenches, it's different. Respectful, like. <laughs> I feel a little nervous at times. He's a little nervous. He's disrespectful. As you should. He's a little nervous. He's a little nervous. Yeah, yeah, as long as you with us, we cool, Nick. You feel me? I heard about 30 gunshots this evening. Yeah, about 30. We just heard about 25. Really ain't nothing. Really this is every day. Really the boys from Salt Lake City ain't no different than the boys from Philadelphia. We all trying to get that money. We trying to get that money. About to go bowling in Philadelphia with the one and only YBC Doom. This how you take that Mick button. Look. That's how you take that fucking Mick button on the nigga. Ah! They just said we couldn't bowl, and then Dual Sweet talked him into bowling. It's like midnight. It's 1208. It's past midnight. Yeah, baby! Ah! Yeah, baby! Everybody out there at home, check this out, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, big bop! Fuck, bro. That was mid. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a fucking bucket. Fuck is y'all talking about? That's a bucket. We driving buckets. Just finished bowling. About to go to the studio right now. Go to the studio, you feel me? We at the studio. So they do go to the studio. Mr. Disrespectful, disrespectful himself. Cause Cause I'm wondering how you record music. music. He's on varsity. I'm on JV. You know, I'm trying to step my game. You didn't even make JV yet, bro. I'm a freshman. Yeah, you a freshman. We don't need raw footage of him recording. All right, let's get it. My man never sipped lean. He shot up in his vein. That's how I rip. I punch in one by one. Hell yes. <laughs> Me and Dula are cooking up right now. I just, I just, I just kicked an okay verse, right? A decent verse. No, oh, you laid that shit down. Turn you, you going in? And and now Dula's about to pop off, and we might fuck around, and, and, make a music and. video, and drop this for y'all for real. Get that money. To buy a dozen Percocet, I'm trying to catch a buzz. Will you tell me isn't working yet? I'm certain for Oxys, Triple C's, or Roxy's. Oh, for pharmacies, I'm still in, yeah, there really ain't no stopping me. While we were trying to film the music video for the song, my priest became a part of a crime scene. What we was doing, what we was doing. We were trying to do a video, and the next thing I know, 30 shots rang out. Bring my man over here. Bring my man over here. Hey, we're at a nice diner right now. Want some cheese steak? To aspire. I don't eat cake. I eat ass. I thought your name stood for yeah, young, young Brother Cheesecake. I mean, YBC stand for Young Booty Champion. Young Booty Club. <laughs> no yeah. Diddy. Where do you think you're going to be in five man. years, bro? I'm going to be somewhere where my feet kicked up with a bad bitch. So what are some bars that you think are hard that you've written in the past? I said, my bitch bad. She come through like O2 Stacy Dash. We don't overcook your man and wrapped him up in extra glad. Popping all that gangsta shit to tell. Don't go out like your head. How the fuck bus a 20 play? I'm in another state. Stuffing shit in canned goods and send them out in fucking crates. The perkies got me up. I'm leaning off the fucking drink. If I catch him with them glasses, I'm going to take him off his fucking face. <laughs> That's bars, My guy. That's bars, though. This has been an episode with the most disrespectful rapper in America. I know what the fuck it is, Mr. Disrespectful. You know, what's on the way? Oh, nah, I got some new shit funny, on the way with Skrilla, Lil Scoom, and Big Op. All of Duel's music will be linked in the description. Go follow him, listen to the music, stream it. As always, the extended cut will be on Patreon. Oh, man. Well, that's Brandon Buckingham and stuff, man. Got some weird news and stuff. I had to, I'm like, damn, I gotta go check. Bro just told me about this dude. And what the fuck? It really is treacherous out here in Philly, dog. I ain't where the treacherous stuff at. But if y'all in the trenches, I'm praying for y'all. I don't really pray. But one love and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.